Oh, good. Good, it all works. Cool. Ah, uh, we got the repeating binging, bonging, whatever noise. That means I'm in check. But I'm not in check. Whatever. Um, so I need to prevent his king from crossing the midway line. Um, and I still need to get my king across the center. I'm thinking that rook d1, threatening rook takes bishop, is a good way to go here. As for this position, um, I'm not sure what my opponent's up to. Uh, he's trying to block my bishop from being developed. Um, well, this bishop needs some freedom. Um, Man, it's so tempting to lead the attack with my king. <sighs> How do I... Okay, yeah, my queen can jump around this queen. So, that's what we're gonna do. Next position, I'm in check. What do I do about being in check? Objectives to get. Well, okay, I can't make it there. Um, I want to both stop his king from invading and myself invade my king. Uh, which, in totality, doesn't seem possible here. My bishop attacks his bishop. If I move my king. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities here. I move my king to c6, he can discover an attack with his knight, but where would the knight go? I guess back to c3. I'd go back, and play would proceed normally. I don't see any problem there. Where else could the knight go? Um, yeah, well, that's what we're going to try. Oh, I won this game. Okay, my opponent concedes because my queen attacks his queen and it's all menacing and I haven't lost the game and my king's safe. So this is all good. Um, Stockfish itself doesn't play atomic chess. I had to improve it to play atomic. Um, yeah, the, these pieces are ugly because this is chess too. This is a variant of the standard chess game, um, designed by David Serlin, and um, maintained by these fellows, and developed by those fellows. Uh, let's go through the rules. This is your so king. The so we've got a king, we've got the pieces game, that move like pieces. You can capture an enemy piece by moving your piece. When you do a capture, a battle begins, and um, the battle, you choose how much you're going to gamble to see if the attacker gets removed from the board or not. Initiating a duel and bidding zero is a bluff to make the opponent waste stone. If the attacker calls your bluff by also bidding zero, he can choose to gain one stone or destroy one of the defender's stones. So these stones are a bidding mechanic. Each player is given three stones. Every, Every time, time you, you capture, capture an enemy pawn, you gain an additional stone up to a maximum of six. These are a bidding mechanic that help you um, destroy pieces that are inconvenient. It is free so to initiate a duel unless the rank of the attacking piece is higher than the defender. For other armies, each piece... So there's the standard pieces. The empowered army features high... Uh, any empowered, empowered pieces, knight, bishop, which or rook is horizontally or vertically <laughs> adjacent to another on your team, 
Each piece gains the movement powers of its neighbor. So this is kind of like troll chess, but not really. So if you have adjacent pieces that are vertically or horizontally adjacent, they gain each other's powers. Um, the elegant queen can only move as a king. And if you're playing as this particular army, the empowered army, your queen doesn't have queen powers, it just has queen rank for um, bidding. The two kings are on feature. Two kings, you a get to move king an extra king to each turn. The same, same way as a king, king but has the additional option to whirlwind attack, destroying all touching friendly and enemy pieces. To win by midline invasion, both of your warrior kings must safely cross the midline. Right, After that makes your sense. Move, you may optionally make an extra move using one of your warrior kings. Neither of your warrior kings are allowed to be in check after either your first or extra move. If either is checkmated, you lose. The Reaper Army. The Reaper can teleport and capture anywhere on the board except the enemy's back row. The Reaper cannot capture a king. The Reaper's pretty awesome. A ghost can teleport to any open square. Ghosts cannot capture or be captured. Also pretty awesome. The animal's army is a short. This is one I've been trying playing as recently. We're gonna skip over it because I'm not convinced that it's any good. The nemesis army features a focused attack on the enemy king. The nemesis moves like a queen, but cannot capture or be captured except by an enemy king. A nemesis pawn moves and captures like a pawn, but may make a non-capturing nemesis move, which is a one-space move closer to an enemy king. Huh. Unlike pawns, nemesis pawns cannot move two faces on their first move. Did I see that a nemesis can move, it's just a one square move, yeah, any one square that brings it closer to the enemy king. That's pretty cool. Uh, but that's a non-capturing move. If the same situation occurs three times, the game is a draw. Well, duh. If 50 moves are made with no captures or pawn moves, the game is a draw. Well, duh. Unlike classic chess, there are no stalemates in chess 2. If you cannot make a move, it is checkmate and you lose. That's it. So those are the rules. Um, we've just went over the rules. Let's see, how many games do I have going at once here? Four. So, so far, lately I've been playing just as the normal pieces. I've been disillusioned with the animal army, because they just move really slowly. I've tried the empowered army, I've not been too happy with it. So, we're going to try a new army today. Um, I'm going to try the Nemesis army. And we're going to queue up, I don't know, maybe four of these games. Um... Or do I want to try adding in the Empowered Army again? It's fun when they work, but they don't work very often. Um, this part, this one is just too difficult to calculate. I don't want to play that particular army. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, no, those, that's just really difficult to calculate. I want to stay away from that. Empowered is really difficult to work with because you don't have a queen. I mean, your queen moves like a king, which kind of sucks. I've tried the, the warrior kings or two kings. It's really difficult to get your kings forward. Um, but I should try to learn how to play them best. So I'm going to pick the two kings already. And we'll key up a fourth game. There's two kings. So, there we go. Um, oh yeah, this is called Chess 2, the sequel. In fact, I probably should have selected that in the stream settings. But, uh, that said, I don't think that there's a whole lot more I can do until my opponents move. It's very difficult to find an opponent, um, live to play these games with. And, uh, in this site, at least at the ranking I'm at, I'm not getting opposition that requires me to spend too much time thinking. Um, 
Galaxies. Chess 2 sequel, yeah, Chess 2 sequel is an official Steam listed game. So, um, let me just check. Oh, I could play against the training bot. Yeah, why not? We'll take two kings against uh, the normal army. Oh, this morning that black screen was just OBS messing up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open this with d4, king f, king d2. Beating the training uh, dummy really isn't much of a challenge, because um, it doesn't calculate very exactingly. Maybe it does well for this kind of um, opposition. I wonder. Um, I'm going to try something really goofy here. Okay. Whirlwind 1. So I'm taking all my pawns off the board. Whirlwind 2. Okay, now all my pieces are active. That's hilarious. Look at that piece activity. Isn't it a thing of beauty? And if I get my two kings across the middle line, I win. One, two. And light wins. Okay, well, I think we've shown that playing against the training dummy isn't much of a challenge. Um, I would be stunned if I find somebody in this live match section. Like, there's no way. Now, maybe some future day we'll arrange something. Um, I'll actually get an opponent for that. Should I try another army? Yeah, let's try one more. Uh, let's try the Nemesis army. Wait, do I not go first? Oh, my pawn does not move two squares. Good to know. Uh, so this knight moves the same way as a rook or a bishop. Um, I did not know that these pawns only advanced one square. Suddenly this seems way more balanced. Yeah, this rook moves the same way as the knight. So this is... Kind of, sort of, like troll chess. Um, and my opponent hasn't exposed his king just yet, so... I'm just going to keep moving my pieces forward. Okay, now my opponent's king's exposed, and I'm going to try to do... Okay, this only moves like a rook. Um, yeah, the more pieces I trade, the safer I am. Okay, and this queen does not move like a queen. I'm sorry, it does not capture as a queen would capture. Um... So, yeah, I'm just going to trade here. This takes away his diagonal powers. Yeah, now this queen on the nemesis army cannot capture, and only the king can capture it. Um, Alright, so, he initiated a duel, and he bid zero. And for that, I'm going to make him pay a stone. Um, yeah, we're going to destroy that knight and see what he bids to try to save it. Okay, so I bid more than he did, so his piece vanished from the board. Um, and now I'm just going to run it with my king. Uh, I 
That's a rook. That's a rook if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I don't need to run it with my king anymore. Um, my queen can go up there and be a menace for his king. Uh, that's a free pawn. So yeah, I'm just going to bash on the training buddy here, and, or dummy here. Um, let's see. I'll take him down to one stone so he can't defend very well anymore. Um, and now we just curse cross made him. Okay. It's easier said than done, though. Okay, my queen is invincible. Well, only his king can capture my queen. Um, so I could force him to block with his bishop, and then just do pawn takes bishop and start to threaten to promote. I have an invincible queen, and I just keep taking his stuff. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't have made sense for him to bid anything there anyway. Um, and, yeah, now my opponent... Um, He's trying to race his king up forward, and it's, okay, this is check. He's one step away from freedom. He needs to get to b4 or a4 to win this. Sorry about the uh, base noise there. There's nothing I can do to stop it. It's a bug in the game. Oh, move all my pawns to the d and e file. That's an interesting thought. Um, let's just go bishop b4 mate. Right? Victory is mine. Let's see, is it my turn to move in any of my correspondence games? Nope! Nope, nope, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight opponents have yet to move. Um. So yeah, we'll come back and continue those games at a later time. In the meantime, let me pick a different game.